I'm past the point of anger, to be honest. Um, for the first time in about seven years, and this is including back-to-back 3-0 losses against Liverpool and Manchester City, I just didn't want to watch. I just did not want to watch in the first half. Um, uh, obviously, I'm talking about the, the decision, but I mean... Nobody comes out of this game with any credibility. Maybe a tiny little small bit for Eric Bailly for the three goal line clearances, but I mean, even he made a few mistakes today. Just, oh, no, no, just, it was abysmal. Spurs absolutely dominate, dominated from minute two until uh, the finish, and they fully deserved the win. Um, I'm going to get that out of the way before I go through the goals and obviously the decision. But um, yeah, just horrendous. It, it looks so bright. Looks so bright. Thirty-eight seconds in, uh, we get a penalty. A stupid foul from Davidson Sanchez and Bruno Fernandez slots it in. Hundred percent penalty record. Every time I say that, I'm worried that he's going to miss the next one. But I'm not really worried at the minute because I just I just can't even think. But yeah, then just comical, just absolutely comical defending. I just do not understand. Eric Bay heads it backwards. Uh, Maguire just can't head it back to De Gea then Shaw's kind of fouled by Maguire and he can't clear it and it comes to end on Bele and it's in literally two minutes after we get the penalty and then shortly after that Maguire makes a foul on Kane Kane takes a quick free kick puts it around Maguire um, and yeah Son chips it in and this is eight minutes in eight minutes in we're 2-1 down after being 1-0 up two minutes in and then afterwards I'm sorry the worst worst decision I have ever seen regardless of what fan you are on no planet first of all is that a red card I know oh he's he's he's, he's hit him on his chin oh no after being elbowed in the face by Lamella uh, so yeah the incident Lamella elbows Martial in the face Martial retaliates I know it's stupid he shouldn't do it but I mean it's literally that it's that like oh I just oh and then be, when he does that, Lamella decides to hold his face, goes down as though he's been shot with a Barrett 50 cal, and uh, yeah, it's a red card for Martial. If you give a red card. big 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 time we capitulated and I mean obviously I was rightly fuming um, about that Martial thing I just cannot believe it. it it is the worst decision I've ever seen just the injustice of not having both of them handed the same punishment that's what hurts the most and that was the point where I was like I I'm done I'm done even before Kane scored the third one was it Kane I think it was Kane who scored the third one even before the third one went in because of that decision I just I didn't even want to watch. I didn't, and I've never felt like that. If we're getting dominated in a game, fair enough. I still, were. it's just the injustice, really. Like we're bantered for getting referee decisions, and I know we had a penalty, but again, blatant penalty, stupidity from David Sanchez. But uh, I just, uh, no, no. Like we're bantered for having referees in our pocket. Uh, come on, come on. This is the second time this season we've had a. Re ridiculous decision go against us but anyhow aside from that as I say Spurs absolutely obliterate us uh, after this point and yeah Kane about 20 seconds after the red card gets a goal um, I don't even know the, uh, literally the rest of it's just a blur uh, I know Aurier scored the fifth Kane scored the sixth um, I can't remember who scored the fourth I'll be I, I honestly I just can't I just can't at this point I was just I was so done I think it was Son actually did Son get another one? He probably did. <sighs> oh, I just... I don't know. We're in utter disarray. Um, and then our transfer uh, committee... Uh, you know, we, we've we've panic-bought Cavani. He's a brilliant player. Of course he is. He didn't play much last season because of Icardi, but he'll probably be a great signing. But it's the type of signing that you make when you've already made all of your other signings. It's, 
it's a bit silly the timing i don't understand why you wait until the end of the window you don't get them at the start you don't get them afterwards fair enough afterwards you can't um put them in the champions league squad but why haven't we got players and again I, i'm a firm believer in ollie i really am i still am and i think he's going to do wonders at this club but today you know he's at fault as much as any of the players because the tactics there were just horrendous on paper that's our best 11 uh, maybe you can put Van der Beek in there for Matic but I mean if you want the defensive solidity which we didn't have today <laughs> even with Matic um, then yeah you put him in but yeah uh, questions have to be asked in terms of his tactics today so you can't just solely blame the transfers but seeing that it's quite obvious what we need and it hasn't been actioned I know we finally after two months we finally going to get Alex Tellez for 13.6 uh, million again this should have been done ages ago but hey ho we're getting him we're getting Edison Cavani on a free he's going to get three guaranteed Premier League starts now because Martial's got a red card uh, so that's a three match ban for him so Cavani will have to hit the ground running straight after the international break uh, and then of course we've got a ridiculous run of fixtures where I think it's Chelsea PSG Arsenal, Leipzig, maybe not in that order, but they're the four fixtures back to back to back to back. Yeah, we need to throw everything we can at Sancho, throw everything we can at Upamencano, that would be great. Or just give Ted and Mengi a chance. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm just at a loss. It's so low being a United fan at the minute, and we're about to sign two players today. <laughs> oh, it's just horrible. It really is. Um. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Just everybody in that team was absolutely garbage from the second minute. Um, uh, apart, Bay was slightly less garbage than everyone else, but <sighs> no one comes out with any credibility. The the defensive awareness from the back four today was just horrendous. The amount of pockets where one of Shaw, Maguire, Bay, or I'm beyond anger. If I made this at half time. Of course, um, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know.